gram stain. Before commencing to any laboratory procedure, make sure that you don the apron, mask and gloves. This is mandatory. Preparation of smears. Before proceeding to staining, it is important to prepare good quality smears from a good quality specimen. Requirements. Patient sample. Culture plate with growth or broth culture. Dropper or pipet. Sterile inoculating loops. Clean, dry, grease-free slides. Glass marker pen or pencil. Discard jar with 1% sodium hypochlorite. Biosafety hood. Bunsen burner. Smear preparation from patient sample. Smears can be prepared directly from the patient sample, culture plate with growth or from broth culture. For smears directly from the patient sample, take a clean grease-free slide. Label it with patient ID or lab number. With a sterile inoculating loop or dropper, place a small amount of purulent portion of the patient's sample, for example, sputum, pus, etc. onto the middle of the slide. Spread the sample to obtain a smear of medium thickness. Let it air dry. Mark the position of the smear on the undersurface of the slide with a glass marking pen or pencil. Heat fix the smear by passing over a flame for 2-3 to three seconds, taking care not to burn it. Smear preparation from broth culture. Take a tube of broth culture and remove its cotton plug. Flame the mouth of the tube and pick a loop full of broth culture with a sterile inoculating loop. Replace the cotton plug and put the tube aside. Spread the loop full of the culture onto the middle of a labeled slide and let it air dry. Sterilize the inoculating loop. Smear preparation from solid culture media. Take a loop full of normal saline and smear it onto the middle of a glass slide. With a sterile inoculating loop, pick a colony from the culture plate and emulsify into the saline while spreading the smear. Let the smear air dry. Gram stain. There are various modifications of gram stain mentioned in literature, but in-house variations can be adopted for respective facilities. The following method is the most common method used by a microbiology laboratory. Requirements The four primary reagents required for performing gram staining are Crystal violet, which acts as the primary stain Grams iodine, which acts as the mordant 95% ethyl alcohol or acetone, which acts as a decolorizer and safranin, which is the secondary stain or the counter stain. Staining rack or rods. Procedure. Place light with heat fixed smear on staining tray. Gently flood smear with crystal violet and let it stand for one minute. Tilt the slide slightly and rinse with a gentle stream of tap water. Gently flood the smear with grams iodine and let it stand for one minute. Rinse with a gentle stream of tap water. The smear will appear as a purple circle on the slide. Decolorization is the next and the most important step. Decolorize using 95% ethyl alcohol or acetone. Tilt the slide slightly and apply the alcohol drop by drop for 5 to 10 seconds until the alcohol almost runs clear. Immediately rinse with water. Acetone is a powerful and rapid decolorizer. So, while using acetone, make sure to use acetone drop by drop. Do not decolorize for more than 2 to 3 seconds or the whole smear may be washed off. Gently flood with safranin 
to count a stain. Cover the smear and let it stand for 30 seconds. Wash with a gentle stream of tap water. Let the slides air dry and blot gently. View the slide using a light microscope under oil immersion. Bacteria, which retain the positive stain, are stained purple and are called gram-positive bacteria. Bacteria, which retain the counter stain, take up the red colour and are called gram-negative. Gram stain can therefore be called a differential stain because it differentiates between gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Quality control for gram stain. A good known gram positive organism such as Staphylococcus aureus ATCC strain and gram negative organism, for example, Escherichia coli ATCC strain, are used to prepare the smear adjacent to the test smear on the same slide. If gram stain morphology of these quality control strains are correct, then the results of gram stain observation of test smear is reliable and accurate. Common errors while performing a gram stain. Wrong labeling. Too thin or thick smear. Inadequate fixing. Stain deposits. Over decolorization.